Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Advance Wars Days of Ruin. This is Mithril Zenith. Last time we cleared the mountain pass, did a, a side map. This time, let's do a story map. Let's, let's keep alternating this. Side story, side story. A new threat. Yeah, the beast is hurting. I need medicine. What are you waiting for, roaches? Swarm and plunder. And don't come back without something to, to ease my pain. Um, it's not that easy. We're low on fuel and ammo. Most of our weapons were destroyed in the last battle, so... You're this close to dying, boy. Whatever you need, you steal, understand? Yes, sir. My leg's on fire. Can't believe the soldiers, boys, hit me! Yeah. I killed this affection and kill me some dark face do gooders Do you truly harbor such hatred for Captain Brenner? Hey, well, where did you come from, you freaking ghost? My dear sergeant, wait. You have no name now, do you? You're just the beast. How appropriate. Your propensity for violence are you expelled from the military, yes? And these past few years, you've spent each day slaking your thirst for blood and mayhem. But how, how do you... All in good time, my friend. When the meteors came, you knew just what to do, didn't you? You stole weapons and access codes, and began plundering whatever you could find. For most, the world was a living hell. But for a man like you, it was paradise. At least until Captain Brenner and his good Samaritans arrived. Ugh, I hate him. He ruined everything. When I find him, I'm gonna... You will have your vengeance. I will provide you with supplies and weapons. You desire chaos and destruction, yes? I shall see you are equipped to sate that desire. This is the quick restart to the Serrata Mountain Range. So we're passing by Freehaven again, will we? Doubt they'll be happy to see us, but we should check to see if the people are safe. Permission to speak out of turn, sir, but I believe you're too forgiving. How can you be concerned for their welfare after the way the mayor behaved? That doesn't mean we can abandon them. Doesn't it? They've insulted you, sir. I, for one, couldn't care less if they were wiped from the earth. That's enough of that, Lynn. Captain Brenner! What is it, Will? Are we under attack again? Huh? No, it's those villagers. Remember? The ones we met before? They say they want to speak with you, sir. Is that so? So this last quake destroyed the remaining buildings, leaving us without food or shelter. We can't survive without assistance. And what has this got to do with me? Please, Brenner. Captain, we need your help. You have my apologies for any past understood. Pack your things, you're coming with us. If we can locate that factory, there should be enough food for everyone. Factory? That's right. If you need details, find Dr. Morris. I deal in weapons, not test tubes. All I can tell you is it's key to getting the food we need to survive. Clear? Y yes of course. You have my gratitude. Speaking of food, my people haven't eaten in days. May I ask if we'll feed you? Ask away. Alright, we're running short ourselves, but I'll see to it. If someone hasn't eaten for days, you look pretty well fed to me. Uh, I beg your pardon? I'm rather curious as to what your villagers are carrying in all those trucks. It wouldn't happen to be provisions, would it? No, it's merely... A... How dare you? Are you implying that I'm lying? I said no such thing. I merely inferred from your robust condition that you've been eating enough, you, you uppity. Attack! We're under attack! Gather your people and take cover in the rear. We'll continue this later if we survive. This map! Always, only use advanced keeper eyes peeled. Mark the pillar of fire. See the looming surrounding area. It looks like there's an enemy protruding on the side of the river. And our factories are too. We need to capture the mace app. These are transport copters to airlift some infantry up there. You might be wondering why I said this map like that. This map is fine. It's fairly easy. It's clear. It is very difficult to S rank. I remember... Unless I remember it being difficult to S rank. I remember having to try it like a dozen times in a row before I finally found a winning strategy. So expect me to be here a while, because I will be playing through this first, and if I don't get an S rank, I will just skip and redo the map over and over again until I get it. Yes, this map introduces you to transport copters. Uh, they want you to transport infantry units over the river. Infantry and mechs will be loaded on transport copters. Not bikes, just infantry and mechs. The key to this map, the key to S ranking this map, rather, is not wasting your time not wasting your units, and not making too many units. It is very easy to make too many units on this map. Mm -hmm. 
very easy. Move them and drop them off. Make sure you find someplace safe. Forget if there's anything in that forest. No, there is not. Good. There we go. Moving the recon to see, moving a tank up ahead. And we'll make one bike. That's all we really have the money for right now. They happen to see us, roaches. Let's bury oh, our head so dizzy. To the medicine that freak gave me. It's good. The boat's on fire. Ray's burning me up. Yes! I am reborn. The beast will not be denied. The beast will hunt. Prepare to die. Okay, so they've moved on to that city. Good to know. Capture successfully completed. Some improved visibility in the area near our base, giving us an advantage. Cities can see us in fog and blue. Very important. Yeah, they're just capturing it there. It's fine. And you capture it here. And you capture these factories. We don't really need both right now, but we want to make sure that the enemy does not get them, because that is very bad. And I think now we save our units for a better day. Greener pastures. We will slowly advance across the bridge. So we can assault this artillery. Like so. Yes, there's a missile in case you want to try and, I don't know, rush the map. Rush the HQ. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Here, capture this. Hopefully my keyboard is getting, uh, picked up. I remember in one of the videos I played back. Uh, the keyboard is quite loud and obnoxious. Let me just wait here. And I think we make one more tank. Day three. Yep, their recon attacks are recon. That's sad. Their tank attacks are tank. That's frustrating. That just makes our power ranking suck more. Take out that idiot. Um, so we capture their city, or we capture this factory. More infantry. Don't go astray over here. What's um, the range of this thing? that mountain right there. Okay. Mountains give better vision. That's very important to know. We need to blow up this artillery. Okay, we've weakened it to the point where it doesn't pose a threat. Retreat behind our tank and build another one. This map is so bad. It's not a bad map, but this is... I don't know why I have such feelings about this map. I mean, I kind of know why, but I didn't know that I did have such strong feelings about this map until just now. Okay, we have infantry there. We can't rush their HQ. They have way too many units. We'll get slaughtered. Maybe blow up this recon though. That'd be nice. And 
now we can just start rolling across this bridge. Oh, there's a mech in that uh, city. He's gonna come after us. Third tank's gonna do as well here. Let's take a look at these forward cities. Uh, killing recons with mechs, it's weirdly satisfying. I guess maybe it's not too weird. Get us more income, we need it. building too many infantry? Maybe. I don't know. Is this bad for my power ranking? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, that mech. That's frustrating. Capture, capture. Ugh, we want to away from being useful. that mech, or we can deal with this tank. Um, this is a bigger threat. How can we deal with this mech from the mountain? Dealt with the mech from the mountain, and now we deal with this tank uh, like so. Artillery's dead. That missile will be next. I feel like this is the time where we stop building forces. Another recon. Up top. Oh, shoot! Well, that kills my uh, rankings right there, doesn't it? Losing a T-copter to a missile in the middle of nowhere. Gotta suck for rankings. Capture the city. That looked like. Ooh, that looks bad. That looks very bad. What's your move? Six move. One, two, three, four, five, six. We move there to be safe. We move down here. We don't want to fly too far with our copters. We have no way to refuel them. Uh, I want to build tanks. I so want to build tanks. But I know that if I build anything else and don't use it, that's just going to be a waste. So let's see what we can do with these forces right here that we have. Ah, one square away. One square of movement never meant so much to me. I want to watch this and see where they land. Three exactly. Fighting over. You will claim this. You will make sure that the. Uh, HQ is available to claim tomorrow. This will clear out the infantry. There we go. Yeah, I made too many infantry. I made at least one too many infantry. I didn't actually need those cities. Why was I making infantry to claim them? Don't know. Don't know. Either way, we're here now. Let's live with what we've 
done. Okay, and none the wiser. That's annoying, but it's fine. Who knows what they built? I don't. Capture their HQ. Oh, you pull up that tank. You can blow up that anti-air. You can blow up their infantry. on this because we'll finish them off next turn. Whoops. Move too far. That's transport copter is not gonna be able to be of any use at all. Day nine. Darn it! That was a mistake. I should not have attacked because now I just lost a unit. For basically nothing. this man. Let's see what he's building. A bike. Get a route. No, no, I don't think I can. Better just kill this mech and then end the mission. This is just a taste, losers. Now I've got a weapon supplier. I'll be making your lives miserable. Sleep lightly, soldier boy. The beast rules the nights. All I need to account for the battle's over. Somebody tell those, tell me where those raiders got all that firepower. I can't understand it, sir. We deployed everything we had. Captain, the raiders' leader managed to get away. Looks like he hid in a pile of corpses and snuck off when it was safe. That doesn't bode well. I'm sure we'll see his ugly face again. We've got our own goal to reach. Let's move out. Come on. Yes. Yes. Look how close this is. 318. I had one extra turn. I had a good power ranking. Even with the num with the few units I I put, even with as few units as I made, I still had only 90 technique. The technique rating on that mission is so strict. I don't know why it's so strict, but it is, and it gets me every time. But we got that S rank first try. Mmm, feels good. It wasn't a close thing, too. It was a 318, 319. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I... What's... Uh, Isabella, is something wrong? Are you feeling all right? I d don't know. Isabella, talk to me. What is it? I'm so dizzy. I have... 9693872914. 9693872914. I feel funny. W wait a minute. Our man is a victim of the plants. He was about your age, well. Curiously, the virus seems to only infect young people. You're in the right age range, which means you're at risk. If you need anyone suffering from this, you must stay away. Is that clear? It can't be. Well, I'm gonna get Dr. Morris. Wait here, Isabella. Please don't leave. What's all the commotion over here? Oh, no. Get the doc over here on the double. Captain Brenna. From the symptoms, there's a good chance Isabella's infected with creeping derangia. The plant virus? Yes. I placed her in quarantine in a temporary laboratory. She must stay there for now. There's no danger of us getting sick, but young people like Will are at risk. What are you doing for her? How long until she's cured? Will's right about you, Captain. You truly are a caring man. But to have any hope of curing her, I would require highly specialized equipment and facilities. You've got what you've got, Doc. Do your best. If I may, Captain, I have a thought. Go ahead. The shelter the girl told us about. If it truly does exist, perhaps it contains the medical equipment Dr. Morris requires. You may be onto something there. A shelter like that would be completely airtight, which means an infectious disease would spread like wildfire. Yes, they must have considered it. It's very possible they would have a contingency plan for just such a situation as this. I see. Good work, you two. As long as there's a chance, we keep moving. Will, what are you doing out here all alone? Nothing. I'm just... I know you're worried about Isabella. It's a normal reaction. Listen, I don't want you to lose hope. As long as there's life, I ran away. I ran away from her. What are you talking about? When I knew, when I knew Isabella was sick, I didn't even go to her. 
I didn't want to get sick too. I was only thinking about myself. She was really scared, you know? I could see it in her eyes. She wanted me to help her, but I ran away. You did the right thing, Will. If you'd gone to her, you'd come in contact with her, and you'd be in quarantine too. Big mood! But you would have stayed with her, Captain. You help people, that's what you do. You're committed. You're not like me. I've spent more time running than you'll ever know, kid. <laughs> I'm still running. What do you mean? All the people I couldn't help. All the soldiers who died because I wasn't good enough. I've spent many sleepless nights telling myself I couldn't be helped, but that's all I could do. That's just the sound of me running, Will. Running from a past I'll never escape. Oh. I'm disappointed? I was hoping I could protect the illusion for you. No matter how I grieve or regret my actions, the men who died because of me will still be dead. But Isabella is still alive. You've got nothing to regret. There's plenty you can still do, right? For her? Sir, sir. Yes, sir. Just remember, Will. Where there's life, there's hope. There's chapter 8 cleared. Chapter 9, The Beast Unlocked. I don't remember this map, but it is the first airport map, so you know what it is. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I guess we'll end it here. We'll do either Fire and Water or Center River next. And then in two videos, we will do The Beast. Till then, this is Mr. Zenith, signing out.